Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. <laughs> Whatever you thought you lost, Whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. the Bible we have told you last week we are dealing with five enemies that oppose your destiny five strong enemies that you must eliminate and conquer these five enemies are represented with five characters of personalities in the scriptures and explanation on these personalities and what they did in the scripture would give you an idea a lot of people are engaged in spiritual warfare and understanding the rule of engagement when it has to do with spiritual warfare and the powers that contains with them and so it is possible to engage in seven days warfare and fasting and praying and you make no impact at all in the realm of the spirit that's why Paul wrote in Romans chapter 8 verse 26 and said likewise the spirit helped our infirmities our frailties our ignorances because we do not know how to pray as we ought to so there is how we ought to that we do not know it is when we get to know how we ought to that we begin to make him part in the realm of the spirit Mr. Stan honors and respects a man who knows. When you understand these five enemies, then you can understand who is in charge of certain battles of war, certain battles of life. There are several battles of life. There is battle of background, evil background. There is the battle for your financial freedom, battle for your health freedom, battle for your family. These five strong entities have their agents work with them in various battles. So we looked at the spirit of Amalek and one thing we did last week about Amalek is that Amalek attacks, attacks you when you are not aware. Attacks you when you are away from where you ought to be. Attacks you when you are weak and weary. And one of the things that make people weak and weary is when pray answer to prayers are delayed then the heart gets sick then men begin to look for alternative meanwhile the scripture says in hebrews eleven six, it says he that cometh to god must believe that god is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him it's a rewarder somebody say god is a rewarder I can, are you here somebody say god is a rewarder Turn your Bible with me to Exodus chapter 5. Exodus chapter 5. I'm reading from verse 1. And afterward Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thou said the Lord God of Israel, let my people go 
that they may hold the feast unto me in the wilderness. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? I know not the Lord, neither will I let Israel go. And they said, The, the Lord of the Hebrews had met with us. Let us go, we pray thee. Three days journey into the desert and sacrifice unto the Lord our God. Let he, lest he fall upon us with pestilence or with the sword. And the king of Egypt said unto them, Therefore do ye, Moses and Aaron, let the people from their works get you unto your burdens. And Pharaoh said, Behold, the people of the land now are many. And you make them rest from their burdens. And Pharaoh commanded the same day the taskmasters of the people and their officers, saying, You shall no more give the people straw to make brick as he thought for. Let them go and gather straw for themselves. And the tale of the bricks which they did make he heretofore. You shall lay upon them. You shall not diminish aught thereof, for they be idle. Therefore, they cry, saying, Let us go and sacrifice to our God. Let their, let their more work be laid upon the men, that they may labor therein, and let them not regard them words. And the taskmasters of the people went out and their officers and they spake to the people saying, Thou said Pharaoh, I will not give you straw. Go ye, get you straw where you can find it. Yet, please go back to verse 11. Go ye, get you straw where you can find it. Yet not out of your work shall be diminished. So the people were scattered abroad throughout all the land of Egypt to gather stubble instead of straw. And the taskmasters hasted them, saying, Fulfill your works, your daily task, as when there was straw. And the officers of the children of Israel, which Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them, were beaten and demanded wherefore have you not fulfilled your task in making bricks both yesterday and today as heretofore then the officers of the children of israel came cried unto pharaoh saying wherefore dealest thou dost with thy servants there is no straw given unto thy servants and they say to us make brick and behold thy servants are beaten but the fault is my own people. But he said, ye are idle. Ye are idle. Therefore, you say, let us go and do sacrifice to the Lord. Let me stop here. Go quickly to Exodus chapter 10, verse 24 and 25. And Pharaoh called unto Moses and said, go ye, serve the Lord. Only let your flocks and your heads be stayed. Let your little ones also go with you. And Moses said, Thou must give us also sacrifices and burnt offerings that we may sacrifice unto the Lord our God. And Moses said, Our cattle also shall go with us. There shall not a hoof be left behind. For therefore must we take this to serve the Lord our God. And we know not what we know not with what we must serve the Lord until we come hither. But the Lord is in Pharaoh's heart, and he would not let them go. I'm speaking on this personality in the scriptures. I'm dealing with Pharaohic spirits. That is the second personality and second power that attacks and hinder and manipulates to make sure you will not reach your maximum. It's called pharaohic spirit. This 
spirit has certain characteristics. And from where we read in chapter 5 and chapter 10, you can see how these spirits operate. And because of the activity of this spirit, certain people are discouraged because they make attempts to get freedom if their case becomes worse. Because that's exactly what happened here. They came to Pharaoh, Moses and Aaron came to Pharaoh and said, let us go and serve our God. The reason for you being saved is to serve God. Let us go and serve God. Pharaoh said, ah, it's because of, uh, you are idle. Now he instructed the taskmasters and said, you know what? The people are many and they are, they are doing nothing. You know what? Don't give them materials to work. Now they will look for the material and they will accomplish the same task that they were doing before. The people went out to look for material and the taskmasters were on them, beating them on daily basis because they were not able to accomplish the same thing they were doing because there was no supply of material. What was their crime? Their crime is let us go and serve our God. Listen to me this morning. Whatever will not allow you go serve God, that thing will go because of you. If I hear your amen. amen. There are spirits that get provoked the moment you want to step into your destiny and into your realm. And that spirit is called pharaohic spirit. The second thing we saw in chapter 10 about this spirit, it is a spirit that will not allow you to have 100% of what you are created to achieve. Called Moses and said, Moses, you know what? You and your little ones can go, but your cattle, your rams, your sheep will not go. Please listen to me this morning. You must understand how this spirit operates. Your cattle, your ram, your sheep will not go. But you can go with your children. You say you want to serve God, go and serve God. Then Moses, what are we going to use to serve God? We need the sacrifices. The reason for our going is to offer sacrifices unto our God. Pharaoh said, if that is the case, then you are not going. This spirit will not allow you to have 100%. He would, you can be born again, but you will remain wretched and poor. Somebody say, I refuse. You can get married, but you will not have a child. Or you can have, get married, have children, but you will not have the resources to bring up the children. Listen to me. Whatever is denying you 100% of what God has paid for, what Jesus sacrificed on the cross has paid for, whatever and wherever they are, as you shout amen, let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. It is the pharaohic spirit. It is the spirit of Pharaoh. One personality in the scriptures. At another time, he said to Moses, you can go, you, and take your cattle, but leave your wife and children behind. Moses said, I cannot do that. We can't leave anything behind. When we want to go, we will want to go complete. Friend, listen to me. If you step into the supernatural blessings of the Lord, your life will take a new turn. You know why? It is a provision made for you. It is not necessarily your labor. It's a provision God has made for you. So, success and wealth in the kingdom is provision made for God's children. But look at what this 
spirit is doing is to make sure you are denied of it.